Hypersonic missiles are changing the rules of warfare fast, agile, and nearly impossible to stop. But China just fired back with the HQ-19, a cutting-edge missile defense system built to hunt down these next-gen threats before they strike. It's a game-changing leap that could rewrite the global balance of power. With precision hit-to-kill tech, long-range detection, and advanced propulsion, the HQ-19 is designed for the future battlefield. In this video, we'll explain how it works, what makes it so powerful, and why it might be the biggest shift in missile defense we've seen in decades. The rapid evolution of missile technology, particularly the advent of hypersonic weapons, has introduced complex challenges to global security. Hypersonic missiles, capable of exceeding speeds of Mach 5, possess unpredictable flight paths, making them formidable adversaries against conventional defense systems. In response to this escalating threat, China has developed the HQ-19 Missile Defense System, a sophisticated platform engineered to detect, track, and intercept both ballistic and hypersonic missiles. Publicly unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show, the HQ-19, also known as the Hoji-19 or Red Flag-19, represents a significant advancement in China's military capabilities. This system is specifically designed to engage missiles during their mid-course and terminal phases, effectively neutralizing threats before they reach their intended targets. Unlike traditional missile defense systems that rely on explosive warheads, the HQ-19 employs a hit-to-kill approach, utilizing kinetic energy to destroy incoming missiles through direct collision. One of the standout features of the HQ-19 is its impressive operational range. Reports indicate that the system's radar can detect threats up to 4,000 kilometers away, providing extensive coverage and early warning capabilities. This expansive detection range is crucial for addressing the challenges posed by hypersonic missiles, which can approach targets with minimal warning time. Furthermore, the HQ-19 is mounted on a highly mobile 8x8 wheeled chassis, allowing for rapid deployment and flexibility in various combat scenarios. Each launch vehicle is equipped with six interceptor missiles housed within integrated launcher tubes, ready to respond swiftly to incoming threats. The system's ability to fire at near-vertical angles and rotate 360 degrees enhances its adaptability, enabling it to engage targets from multiple directions effectively. The HQ-19 missile defense system incorporates several technological advancements that distinguish it from existing systems and enhance its effectiveness against contemporary missile threats. A pivotal innovation of the HQ-19 is its two-stage solid-fuel rocket motor. This design provides a performance edge over systems like the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, which utilizes a single-stage motor. The dual-stage configuration allows the HQ-19 to achieve higher speeds and greater maneuverability, essential for intercepting fast-moving and evasive targets such as hypersonic missiles. The system employs N-15B fuel, a nitrate-based propellant known for delivering a specific impulse of 260 seconds. This high-energy fuel supports the missile's ability to perform agile maneuvers during the terminal phase of interception, increasing the likelihood of a successful engagement. Additionally, the rocket motor's dual-pulse capability enhances terminal kinetics, enabling the missile to adjust its trajectory effectively to counter evasive targets. Another notable feature is the HQ-19's cold launch technology. Unlike traditional hot launch systems that ignite the missile's engine within the launcher, the cold launch method ejects the missile into the air using an auxiliary power system before engine ignition. This approach offers several advantages, including increased safety for the launch crew, reduced wear on the launch vehicle, and the ability to accommodate larger and heavier missiles. The HQ-19's radar system is equally impressive, with an estimated detection range of up to 4,000 kilometers. This phased array radar provides comprehensive situational awareness, allowing for early detection and tracking of potential threats. The system's ability to operate in the X-band frequency range enhances its resolution and accuracy, crucial for identifying and engaging fast-moving targets. Furthermore, the HQ-19's launcher vehicle is designed for high mobility, featuring an eight-wheel drive chassis that can navigate various terrains. The HQ-19 is perceived as China's response to the U.S. THAAD system, 
a highly capable platform that has long been a cornerstone of American missile defense strategy in regions such as the Korean Peninsula and the Middle East. But unlike THAAD, which was developed in the 1990s and relies on single-stage propulsion and older radar tech, the HQ-19 enters the arena with modernized features, better adaptability, and superior reach. This leap isn't just technological, it's political, signaling Beijing's intent to assert strategic deterrence across Asia and beyond. One major implication of this system lies in the shifting military dynamics across the Indo-Pacific. With rising tensions in areas like Taiwan, the South China Sea, and the Indian border, the deployment of the HQ-19 adds a new layer of defense that could limit the strategic freedom of rivals. For instance, if hypersonic missiles were previously seen as first-strike game-changers too fast and maneuverable to be stopped, the HQ-19 challenges that assumption. China now has a tool that can potentially counter weapons once thought to be unstoppable. Additionally, the HQ-19 is built for integration into a broader, multi-layered national defense architecture. Paired with systems like the HQ-9 for lower-altitude threats and other radar networks, the HQ-19 enables China to field a more resilient and responsive anti-missile grid. This not only strengthens homeland defense, but also increases China's leverage in diplomatic and military negotiations. The ability to shield strategic areas, including nuclear missile silos, command centers, and economic hubs, from ballistic and hypersonic threats is no small achievement. The report also underlined the Pentagon's projection that China's arsenal will surpass 1,000 warheads by 2030. In its 2024 report to Congress, the Pentagon revealed that China might field a stockpile of about 1,500 nuclear warheads by 2035. Then, there's the geopolitical signaling. China's debut of the HQ-19 at a public airshow wasn't just for military eyes. It was a message to the world. The country is no longer simply catching up to Western defense capabilities. The HQ-19 is actively shaping the next phase of the arms race, particularly in hypersonic and missile interception technologies. Ultimately, the HQ-19 is more than just another missile launcher. It's a strategic chess piece. It reflects Beijing's long-term military planning, its ambition to gain parity or even superiority in missile defense, and its intent to challenge the established security order. The HQ-19 isn't just China's latest missile defense system. It's a bold declaration that the age of unstoppable hypersonic weapons may already be ending. With its cutting-edge tech, long-range radar, dual-stage propulsion, and kinetic hit-to-kill precision, the HQ-19 is redefining what's possible in intercepting the world's fastest, deadliest missiles. But beyond the specs lies a deeper truth. China is no longer following. It's innovating, competing, and challenging global norms. Whether this ignites a new defense race or pushes nations towards smarter deterrence, one thing is clear. The rules of missile warfare are changing, and the HQ-19 just moved the goalposts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.